imagine that you have been working for some time on the database design. You have drawn the diagram, you have generated and executed the SQL commands, everything looks fine on your development machine. Now you want to install your freshly developed information system in a production server, where you only have a command line access to the database. How do you transfer the data, the data structure? As everything you can possibly do on a MySQL data structure is eventually done through SQL commands, we can export any database as a simple text file containing either the commands for generating the, the data structure, the commands for inserting the data itself, or both. To do that, we can use the MySQL dump program from the command line, or use any database management software. We can save the results of the dump to a text file. The SQL extension is usually given, but is not mandatory. It's also possible, once you have that file, to use the source command in the SQL command line interface to read the text file and execute all the SQL commands com contained within. This process is very easy when the database doesn't exist where you are trying to copy it. It becomes a bit more complex if, for instance, you realize that you have made a mistake in the structure and need to change a small part of it. The easy case is when no program uses the database yet. You can then do a hard reset of the database using the drop database command to delete it and recreate it from scratch. Alternatively, you can use the drop table command on every table. This will sometimes fail if the commands are not done in the right order and the primary key of the table you are trying to remove is the foreign key of a table that still exists. If starting from scratch is not an option, you will have to use the alter table command to only change what's necessary. In this case, you will always have to be very careful about not losing data and not breaking relationships. Always back up the structure and the data with the dump before any change so that you can come back to a known state if necessary. Now that the database is ready, we can start thinking about creating a program that uses it. That will be for next time.